So hello everyone, um, I'm Wei. Um, right now a master and PhD student uh, uh, at Louisiana State University. So today I'm going to talk about the distributed object ab uh, abstraction in HPX. So what is distributed object? It is a single logical object that uh, partition across a set of localities and which I will go into details. And HPX is a C++ runtime system. And so in the distributed computing domains, we have, normally we have a large amount of uh, data that cannot be stored in a single machine. Mike, what? Oh, okay. So uh, one single object, uh, so we have a large amount of data that cannot be installed in one single machine. So we want to distribute it, this data across uh, multiple machines or localities or nodes or whatever you call it. So for example, in the weather simulation uh, scenario, uh, one data may have the location information, time information, and also uh, uh, the other other stuff, which makes the data really large. And so there's lots of uh, solutions to to uh, uh, to operate uh, distributed object. There's MPI, HPX, and also Hadoop or UPC plus plus other runtime library. So the motivation of that, we want to really provide a really nice interface for user, so they can manipulate with this uh, distributed objects without thinking of the communication patterns. So communication uh, from one machine to another machine, there will be communication happened. And so we want to treat it as a standard library object. So user will have a really nice control and don't think about the communication behind the scene. And so before I go into detail, so HPX is a C++ run runtime library and its infrastructure has an AGAS. It's uh, basically it's a virtual memory address that spans across a set of uh, localities and component basically is nothing C++ objects but can be accessed remotely, can be called in the remote node. And an action is a function that will register in the AGAS. So it will be serialized and in across into the AGAS and then deserialize into another node. So uh, I will give more details about this real object. So as I said, it's single objects that uh, partition across a set of the localities and we will have the local data in the local localities but can be uh, fetched, use the fetch function with the provided uh, locality index. And the idea is inspired by UPC++ uh, this object API, then we extend it based on, on our needs. So uh, too much text and then the photos demonstrate that so in each locality it has a server and a client paired and that will be go, uh, that will be registered into the AGAS um, as a distributed objects component. And the red dash line means that you can fetch the data remotely. Uh, I hope I'm making sense. And and I will show you code. So in this code, what we can do is, so basically this one is uh, reduced uh, to add. So if you have a, a, a set of one, let's say, n localities, and you are sitting in the locality zero, and you want to fetch the int uh, type distributed objects from the remote nodes and then add it up to itself. So uh, the add function is show uh, upstairs, up, up here, there. And then uh, if the main function and we construct the distributed int and provide a unique name as an input string and also with the current locality that will be registered in that locality too. Uh, then the computation will happen in the locality zero, which if the, you are in the city in the locality zero, then you construct the stack vector of the future of a void, uh, which basically just prepare for the uh, the later computation that happened here in the wait all results. And we have the range from the boost i range library. Uh, so if I'm sitting in the locale zero, we try to fetch the data from locality one to the uh, n minus uh, to the rest of the localities and add it to itself. So for each, um, do the screen show, uh, screen show execution policy and uh, get a pointer, uh, um, uh, get the uh, remote locality index and fetch it. So it will does the things for you. And the data flow basically is that uh, it waits, the, the, it let the in, uh, function input pa parameter, once they are ready, then it will execute the uh, add function. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm 
trying to prepare. And you okay, also accept some sub-localities. <laughs> Thank you.